Hey YouTube, opinionated review here, bringing you guys that video I promised you on the GV Ultra. Yes, the GV Ultra from Apple and Berry. It works just as advertised, but I have some information on this for you guys, so be sure to stay tuned and watch the end of the video. Better yet, just watch the entire video. <laughs> Uh, the only downfall to this is you have to be jailbroken. That's the only downfall. But yeah, so let's just jump right into the sim itself. So the instructions and stuff. Show you guys how to set it up, etc. As I always do. So you have to go in the CD and you're going to have to add a source. If you're not jailbroken, just hit me up. I have tutorials on that. Better yet, everything will be in the description. So we're going to go and add the source. going to click add. And we're going to add this source here. It's called... Cydia dot furious mod dot com and as you guys know everything will be in the description just check it it does come in a nice little package this is it right here I already opened it as a, it doesn't come with any instructions you put actually have to go to their website and stuff but that's what I'm here for you know guys don't have to go anywhere so we're just gonna wait for that So after all of that is complete, you're just going to go back here. You can just go right into the, the source from there. You're going to add this right here, this utility. Furious Smart Sim Unlock Utility. You're going to just click install and confirm. You also have to add mobile substrate, but if you don't have mobile substrate installed, it's going to automatically install it. So just install that and mobile substrate is going to install. So after all that is done, you're going to reboot your iPhone. So I'm just going to go, I'm just going to power it off. I'm not going to respring, just go and power it off. And this is where the fun starts. We're just going to pop in the GV Ultra with our SIM. Just pop it in. Reboot the phone and let it work its magic. So the phone is booted up now. As you see, the phone is booted up. You get a little message here with some instructions, probably telling you the same things, giving you information on where you can go. But you could just click accept and just let that bad boy go to work. It does everything in the background for you, so you don't have to do anything. Let's just keep the phone unlocked. And there you go, bingo, we have signal. It did everything in the background, everything works, your internet works, all that good stuff works. Now, when you go in, we're going to turn off airplane mode and see what happens. Let me power, I mean turn on airplane mode and power it back off and see what happens. See if we get back signal. Yep, we did get back signal. Now here's a here's an interesting part. I've tried this couple times and I haven't gotten back signal. I'll try it again. So we're gonna go and pop out the sim while the phone is on. They don't show you this in the video. They skip this out. So now we're gonna go, we're gonna pop it back in. And we're gonna see if we get back signal. This they don't show you this in the video. Now we get sim failure, invalid sim. And we're gonna wait. Now, as you can see, invalid SIM doesn't change, nothing happens. I do not get back signal, even if I'm going to go and power toggle airplane mode off just to see what happens. No SIM install, SIM failure, same thing. I do not get back signal. Even if the black message, the message comes up again and I click accept, I do not get back signal. I have to go and power off my iDevice. And power it back on for it to work again, for that um, process to kick in again, or whatever. You can't just pull out the chip. So yeah, they don't show you that in the videos, but that's basically it. Uh, otherwise than that, it works as advertised internet. Everything works flawlessly. But stay tuned for some extra information on this thing. 
So as I said guys, I was going to bring you guys some extra information on, on the uh, GV Ultra. And bear in mind, none of this is factual. I'm just giving you stuff that I put together based on what I've read, based on what I've seen, and based on what I've experienced so far. So just the other day when somebody posted a video on the GV Ultra that they got from Apple and Berry for testing, somebody comment on the, commented on the video and this is what they said as the, the software downloaded from Cydia is a Trojan pad it will freeze your iPhone all the time lots of users start to complain somebody replied to him and said are you serious bro he didn't reply I replied and asked how do you know this he still didn't reply so I was wondering uh, is this guy a troll or what's not or whatever whatever because he hasn't replied as of now and when I tried to install the tool from CD on my main device my main iPhone 4 I could not get it installed every time I try to install it this is what this is what I got in CD no matter how many I tried about 20 to 25 times I could not get it installed and this is the message I got when I tried now I'm not an expert in programming and stuff so I went ahead and I asked my buddy what do this what does this mean and he replied to me and said this I guess this, the download package is failing to overwrite a file possibly due to a permission conflict and the country code thing is weird. Stay away from both packages. So I'm, I'm not sure what is going on. That's what my buddy told me. So I tried it on my non-main device. I got it installed on my non-main device but when I opened up Cydia this is what I this is the message that I got when I open up Cydia it says half install package when the shell script associated with packages fail they are left in a bad state known as either half configured or half installed these errors don't go away and instead continue to cause issues these scripts can be deleted and the packages forcibly removed and this is what this is the message I got in Cydia so I've never had any problems with anything in CD until now with these uh, getting these messages and these are what I've got this is what I've put together I'm not saying that uh, Apple and Berry would place a Trojan in there they're a very reputable company I'm, uh, but hey we've seen worse shit happen you know but as I said this is not facts these are just my speculations based on what I've read and experienced and I'll keep you guys updated on everything if I get any more of what I'll, I'll just keep you guys updated the link to all of these images and stuff gonna be in the description if you want to read it yourself or check it out but that's basically it guys I'm gonna keep you guys updated I bought it from Apple and Berry for 40 bucks now it's 35 bucks and I'm sure it's gonna get uh, the price is gonna drop lower and lower and lower heck you might probably get it on eBay for three bucks just like the GV sim with that being said please rate comment subscribe have a nice day